Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast, and we are coming to you live from the Phoenix System Open. This is the top four. We have four competitors left. Lots of competition here. Tons of great games. Super excited to bring you this program. Uh, I am going to be flying solo, I believe, for this round. And if I get a co-commentator, that's great. Um, looking at uh, at these lists here, we got Philip Booth, who just won his top eight game in a decisive fashion, playing against the Phantom Menace list that has been uh, lovingly, I'll say lovingly named. <laughs> uh, quad fans of these really good four of these with Juke. Um, I did talk to Philip, and he said, you know, he hadn't had an opportunity to play against this yet. So we'll see how he approaches. We know that he is a calculated player and um, very good at positioning. So we'll see how he uh, how he does. Now, opening setup very similar to last turn, just sitting up in the opposite corner. And we'll see Redline making his way out there. Now, having the initiative advantage is what gives. Uh, Philip, you know, the, the best tools that he has, you know, he, he can try to erase some of these phantoms or at least one of them uh, before losing any of his. That would be absolutely huge. Now, of course, these phantoms are hiding behind Focus Evade, and we're going to have to get some markers on those phantoms once we get in the scrum. We just need to know which is which. I'm going to go ahead and label them 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the side there, and they will be um, a match to... Dominic's cards. And looking at these top four lists, all four of them are honestly uh, pretty good candidates for point increases on several of their cards. On the other table, we have another quad phantom list flown by Ryan Farmer. Uh, and he's playing against a Dash Rourke list. And uh, they're going to announce sometime on Monday. We don't know exactly when, of course. But uh, don't expect it at midnight today. <laughs> it's midday. Thinking about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. That's usually about when they've been dropping those articles. We're going to go ahead and get the poll started. Give me a second here. I do want to ask for some forgiveness for my voice. It is going. I've been battling a cold. So I'll be muting away a few times. Like then. <laughs> to, uh, to cough my brains out. But I'm here for you guys. All the way through the final. I even moved my flight to make sure that we can get all this covered. Gonna allow you to choose your champion in a minute here. You'll see it pop up on your screen. And there it is. One for Philip Booth, two for Dominic. Who do you think will win? People asking me, <laughs> Isaac Carr asked me, do I teach tomorrow? Yes, I definitely have classes tomorrow. Really close on that decloak to the edge of the board. And I see Dominic using some cardboard templates there. Oops, sorry about that. That is from, got a reset. There it is. <laughs> People asking, uh, in the opening, I'll talk about a little bit about it, asking me, what do I teach? <clears throat> Uh, I am an orchestra director. I teach 5th through 8th grade orchestra and absolutely love it. I have the opportunity to teach the kids, to start them off. And uh, take them all the way through the end of middle school and pass them off in the high school as accomplished orchestra musicians and hopefully better people that's number one for me orchestra like music yes i teach kids how to play violins violas cellos and basses 
Now these uh, these ships are, are getting kind of wonky. Looks like we got a little bump there. That uh, that can actually can hurt Dominic if uh, if he's not super accurate. That's one of the things with playing. I mean, I don't know if Dominic has acrylic. Some players purposely choose to use the cardboard if possible. Um, um, but sometimes the, the cardboard can get pretty warped and, uh, and cause some of those issues. Also, you got to be aware of the, uh, the wiggle room in between, the, uh, in, in between those pegs. And I'll tell you that there's another bump there. Uh, Philip is he's a, a, a master, absolute master of, of maneuvering here. So taking advantage of any type of uh, mistakes on Dominic's part is uh, something that Philip's going to try to take advantage of for sure. Do you play my violin, you madman? <laughs> I do. <laughs> snow day calculator. I mean, if I have a snow day tomorrow, that would be wonderful. I'd really enjoy that because uh, I'm going to be super tired no matter what. Though at the same time, I really want to see my students, so... <clears throat> <laughs> the violin solo Patreon content. Uh, I had never even thought about doing any type of crossover like that. All right, Philip deciding on what he wants to do. A couple people asking if uh, my students play X Wing. No, they do not. Most of, I don't think there's any kid who. Who even knows what I do uh, with the Gold Squadron, to be completely honest. <laughs> Paul Ayers, not sure why I'm subscribed. No worries, my man. So there is a chance that we have eight phantoms on the table. Oh, geez, Luis. Petition to have Dion play Star Wars music live on the podcast. Come on, guys. Now, my, my kids are all pretty pretty much into the YouTubes. I think they would uh, they would think it was really cool. But I keep I keep that separate for various reasons. None of my teacher friends know I do Gold Squadron either. It's pretty hilarious. You guys are my secret life. <laughs> All right, soon to hear barrel rolling out. Ryan A. Lunacy, how you doing, my man? I see you. All right. You know, one of the thing with these uh, these shimmying phantoms is. You know, I'm curious to see how patient Dominic is. You know, he knows he's in the top four. He's got his his world's invite. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. It has nothing. To, I I keep it separate because there's just too many questions. So looking, uh, looking at some of our Twitch numbers <clears throat> when it comes to uh, subs and uh, I want to talk about bits. If you're not familiar with bits, those are uh, uh, a 
form of currency on Twitch that you, you can give streamers. I want to say thank you to uh, Yulfrick1066 for uh, being the, the bit leader right now at 750 bits given. Thank you so much. Marcel, you're ridiculous. <clears throat> now, my friends and family all know, like, oh, this is going to sound really terrible. I guess I don't really have a bunch of friends at work. My friends are involved in X-Wing. Work is work. I have, uh, I have work acquaintances at, at, at work. It's, I sound like a bad person or antisocial. My job doesn't actually allow me too much time in, in any buildings. I teach in five different buildings and I'm in and out having to get there. So it's kind of, kind of weird. Yeah, my family all know. They all know my secret. All right, Dominic, decloaking, just keeping uh, keeping that movement to the top of the board there. <laughs> so, <laughs> looks like I got a co-commentator, guys. Uh, so, uh, so, so uh, for uh, joining me today is Ryan Moisture Farmer. Wait, the isn't there a Ryan Moisture Farmer who's uh, who's on the top four table right now playing his game? Actually, that game is over. I beat Dash, Dash Rourke pretty quick. Uh, he called where my phantoms were going the wrong way and put Dash range one of all four of them, and oh. I and I put him to one hole in one round of fire and then killed him the next round, and I didn't lose. And, any and he bended the knee. He bended the knee. <laughs> well, congratulations, Thank my man. You. You're I'm into the on final. I'm onto the finals, man. That I was am. kind of an awkward whole handhold. I kind of wish uh, the yeah, face cam was uh, a... That was very <laughs> awkward, yeah. Um, <laughs> Booth and I have beef. Uh, Booth and uh, we've played at every major event that both of us have ever been at. Yeah. Back in the Kashyyyk System Open in San Diego, we played, and I beat him. And then at Worlds, we played, and I beat him. And then he beat me. Mm -hmm. And then at Coruscant... I played him, and he beat me, and then I played him again, and then I beat him. So we've got even tallies here. We got <laughs> <laughs> time to balance the scales one way or another. But Dominic is a phenomenal player, and obviously, like you look at these the, the top four lists, right? Yeah. That are in the squad, and like in the cut, you've got two quad phantom lists. One of them being mine, uh, a squad of legend, the Suntier Whisper. Um, red line and mm -hmm. then i just had a dash fork it's clear what the meta contenders were yep and i'm really glad that we're getting points tomorrow because i don't particularly find any of these squads fun and engaging yep but i'm gonna exploit them so here we are of course you're gonna engage them because that's i mean if you're trying to win the game sure no no shame uh yeah I, i'd love i'd love some. huh uh so you see the Phantoms right here doing um, a really good job of just controlling that corner engagement. Yeah. And he's going to get a pot shot on Redline here. Um, oh, no, he's not. Redline's Red, Red, Red getting yeah. out. Redline is getting out. And this is really good maneuvering here by Phil. Boost. Boost. Uh, I mean, you don't want to overcommit, though, because those those Phantoms can very easily just well, yeah. end, up, end up just doing the... Yeah. Oops, you, let, me get, let me get this up here. The candy cane. Yeah, you don't want... He's got so much room to do the candy cane right now. So it, it's tough. It, the ideal situation here for um, Redline is he, he can do a move where the Phantoms, um, only one or two of them is firing, and he can get a torque back on them. Mm -hmm. But ideally, like Booth has got to engage 
all of his ships all at once. Yeah, and, and just delete one of the phantoms. And, and the other thing is, like, you have to be careful. You, you need to get firepower, but you have to protect Whisper because Whisper can actually solo three of these things. We saw it happen. To yeah. Ben, we saw it happen to Ben Keller, right? Yep. He thought that three of his could handle Whisper. Fun fact, it can't. Mm -mm. So, like, you have to. And I'm actually, I'm not excited to play either of these squads <laughs> in the finals if I have to play because one, I've never ever done the mirror. There you um, go. Never ever. But um, you know, Phil's an amazing player. So is Dominic, and like, again, Whisper is terrifying. Actually, you know, four fan. This is a, an amazing matchup that we've got going on yep. right now. Yeah, super. <laughs> Super excited. Yeah, Phil Booth, I mean, in, in the last round, he was – dude was a, a cold and calculated, man. He, He's he so took, good. He took Carson apart. Yeah. And it was, a, it was a, a tough game to watch on Carson's on Carson's end. He almost tabled him. Wow. Yeah. Barely got half on red line. Ooh, all well, those templates. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Ryan Farmer wins his match in, what did you do, was it 15 minutes? Probably more like 10. It was only three rounds. Three rounds of play. Andrew Seeley, the producer, coming and making sure that his boy's okay. Produced. <laughs> you've produced. Been, you've been produced. Ryan Farmer only wins because of me. <laughs> there you go. Valid. It's you true. I only win because of Seeley's greatness. <laughs> um, oof. I'm really glad we're getting points changes tomorrow. Yeah. So, uh, Brian, I'll ask you the question. I've asked yeah. most of my commentators why they've been hanging out. Absolutely. What is the the either the card or the pilot that you think will get the biggest points uh, change? It's got to be red line, right? Like, if we're talking points or if we're talking – can you still hear me? Am I good? Yeah, you're good, man. Okay, my bad. Um, if we're talking points, like – it's gotta be. It's so undercosted, right? He's the only one of the entire reasons Squad Legend works and clicks is because of that. Um, I don't want to speculate on upgrades because it's hard to say yep. what might happen to upgrade cards once they adjust ships and chassis. Mm -hmm. So specifically, I mean, I think Redline is just way, way out of Redline. He's way out of line. <laughs> way out of the Redline. Yeah. Um, and I, I just don't. I don't love it. I don't love. Um, the, I think he'd be much quote more quote unquote fair if it wasn't a sign a lock it means he can mm -hmm. do a lot of shenanigans i'm even in favor of them the punishers losing the system slot as a yeah. whole but i mean who knows what ffg does with slots right yeah. this is our first points adjustment we don't have anything to go off of this sets this. a precedent i mean sure. kind of right it's the first one so we'll yeah. kind of know what to expect for the second one but with the amount of flexibility that they have yeah <laughs> All here, the gloves are off. Here is some super smart play here by uh, Dominic. Just taking, like, the easy thing, decloaking back so he can do that one hard and just widen his arcs as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But what Phil has done a really good job in, and what you, what you have to know when you play quad phantoms, and this is advice that, like, people may not be using considering points changing tomorrow. We don't yeah. know if quad phantoms will still exist. But if they do, um, can I tell straight on yeah, you? Um, look at these here and here. You want to corner these obstacles 2-2 two, two, and 2-2 two, two, like you know as close as you can to these areas because I don't know how to erase it um, um, because it keep it makes it more difficult for them to do their um, decloak 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 thing they're, they're a little restricted and you want to make them big too um, a lot of times they the player does have initiative mm -hmm. so uh, the fan, so the phantom player immediately you know takes the biggest rock and throws it over here and the, they want to they want to take these and they want to cluster the rocks as much as possible so that all of this is just wide open for them to yep. decloak and a lot of times their opponents will just do it this is where turn zero is so imperative a lot of these players that play against quad phantoms can almost automatically lose the game because they haven't set up an obstacle places an obstacle placement conducive to making it difficult for the phantom player to do their moving fortress or yeah. whatever they're doing so again, the one hard's here by these phantoms. Yeah, you're gonna have plenty of space next turn if you want to go yeah. either way. And he's yeah, he's Dominic has set it up perfectly here, and um, you, it's gonna be tough for Booth even if he does this too hard with red line here. Um, and that's the other thing about these quad phantoms—they have the, uh, such a major advantage with the the final salvo that you have to engage. That's why I hate final salvo as a rule set. Mm -hmm. It's this squad would be much more interesting if they were forced to kind of come in. And there'd be a lot more counterplay with that, but because of the final salvo rules, 
that's what these players, these fancy players, me including, take advantage of. The yep. other player, they're not good. Squad of Legend, that's six, seven, eight dice versus 12? Are you kidding me? Yeah. It's, oh. re it's really good. And it just, it has, it ticks all the boxes, right? It's extremely defensive. It has great offense. Doesn't need to engage on anybody else's terms. And it's good in Final Salvo. Yeah, and that's where, like, you can really see that these these types of... This is the sort of thing I'd like to see more of in generics. Now, obviously, the action economy is absurdly good, but we saw that Blair Bunky had a lot of success, too. Generics can be good, and obviously, the action economy, the juking is ridiculously good, but... I, I like this move here by Philip. It's great. Advanced sensors, boost, get yep, the target, target lock, lock, and he's going to be out of range. It is smart, very, man. very smart, because now what he can do, and Phil's getting a lot of practice now, he can just get K-turn or get out get out of there get out of dodge and when you're playing um four phantoms what he wants to do yeah, is k. yeah k turn what you want to do is come in at all different approach vectors and surround them so he can come in like this or he can come in like this get force them to come to you and then you kind of are a little cagey with soon tier I, I i can see soon tier doing another wide berth here and you want to force the Phantom player to commit in one way so he can't just hold up in here and get all four guns on you. But, Wait. but now, now that Booth has moved up here, he's got to be careful that they don't can't decloak this way and then two forward this way and wreck his Whisper. Yep. Am, no. I, am I able to see the chat on this screen? Oh, yeah, Do sorry. Let pull it up for you. All right, there's a two bank. But this is a good spot for Whisper to be because maybe Whisper can get a nice. Uh, the the big advantage here is Whisper can be Vadering, right? Yeah. And, and what you want to try and do is get Whisper behind all of these Phantoms so that she can plink from behind and either force them the Phantoms to K turn and turn around. Yep. Or she's just gonna have full advantage. It's it's a dangerous play, but. If Phil is able to decloak this way, uh, uh, uh. Yep. sometimes things get weird. A little weird. A little weird. One second. So if, if Phil decloaks left with Whisper and is able to uh, just get out of dodge and force the Phantoms at Whisper without being able to take shots, then he can flank with Redline and get some Torps on. Double checking some stuff. Let's see. I work on that, Ryan. That's all good. All good. Hi, guys. That's me. Um, so, Phil, obviously, like, I've been running the the, the moving castle strategy um, all tournament. But if I end up playing Phil, that's something that I'm not. If, if he wins, like, he knows the, he knows the secrets. Like, he, yeah. know, he knows how to play. He's very smart. That strategy is just straight not going to work. <laughs> Joe Desmond telling you to stop talking. Go rest. No. Spends a focus. Good. Got it. So Whisper taking a pot shot. Yeah. I mean, if you can dig in damage early, why right. not? Exactly. And a lot of people try to focus down on one Phantom, mm -hmm. which is obviously a great strategy if you can remove one. But there's also nothing wrong with, like, plinking these guys away and spooking yep. them a little bit. If you can get, like, they they are vulnerable. <clears throat> And just in case you were wondering, I did come prepared for the double Phantom Mirror. I do have eight of those flippable Cloak of Aid. Wow, tokens. look at you. Always ready. Always ready, Dion. That's why you're the man. I also I also have enough uh, charge tokens to have uh, double-sided, like, maximum barrage rockets on both sides. And then on, on the... Oh, my God. <laughs> that's hilarious. <Yeah. laughs> um, is this considered scouting? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Um, nah, you're just helping me out. Whatever. Know, yeah, it was fine. It was fine. No better place to watch the game than right. Yeah, I mean, he would. You would just be. I'd be standing right, be standing there anyway. right next to the yeah. table anyway. Okay. Um. So Dominic here, and the, we haven't seen a lot of Phantom on Phantom matchups, oddly no. enough, this tournament. And the the big thing is they're both at 200. So yeah. whoever wins the role, like determining whether you take or pass initiative, is pretty important. Yeah. It's one of the few times where. It's it's KG both ways, right? Yeah. Because if you take initiative, that means you can be juking. Yeah. Uh, you can juke them and, and mess with their evades before they like remove them, so they can't have a back or decloak. On the flip side of that, if you don't have initiative, you have the potential to arc dodge. So how good are you, right? Right. Phil doing. Um, yeah, he's, great he's, work. he's thinking. 
So Dominic has some really interesting choices here. If I was him, if, if I were Dominic, right, mm -hmm. I decloak, I decloak this way with all of them, and I do three forwards this way. And the reason I say that is because red line is stressed and it's probably going to do like a one bank here. The three, the three forward is not blue, right? It's a two. Yeah, but they, but they're not stressed, so it's fine. No, I'm talking about for the for the Punisher. Oh, maybe it's Humble. blue. Yeah, we can take a, we we have the technology. Let's take a look here. If it is blue Double on red line, uh, I don't think it is though. I'm pretty sure it's white. So it's what, white. Yeah. Yeah. What Phil so wants to do is maybe do a two forward boost focus torp this guy here, mm -hmm. and you're fine trading a fan and a phantom can take a torp shot like all day it's totally it, has, yeah, it has focus evade so what phil wants to do is kill this guy before it gets to fire so you bring whisper here you got to be a little careful but you could take the risk and bring whisper and and soon here and these guys this way all to kill that guy or you play kg with whisper right oh mm. sorry Ryan Farmer breaking the own stuff. Yeah, breaking the own stuff. Sorry. Or you bring Whisper this way and just come along this board edge. Um, and that way, if he decloaks this way with you, yep. he'd have to one bank, but you could still potentially arc dodge depending. Um, other other options that you have here. Hold on. Oh, sorry for a second. I thought the camera was going to freeze. No. Sure. <laughs> Uh, other potential, uh, regardless, I think we see a two forward from Phil here. Mm -hmm. That gives him tons of flexibility to then boost and take that focus and torp this guy if Dominic's not careful. If not, if Dominic commits this way, now this red line has a great approach vector to deal deal with all this. <clears throat> and I know a couple of people talking about, you know, uh, you know, the meta changes tomorrow, and it's true, you know. Um, but we have to be able to learn from what came in the past, right? And even, only, even as things change. And I agree with you, Dion. Like, there are some fundamentals in a lot of these games of X-Wing that yep. goes, all, goes super beyond just what list you bring. Again, that turn zero that, that I mentioned um, about n understanding that these guys might like have the final salvo advantage, don't need to engage you. When you look at another person's squad, mm -hmm. hey, will they come at me or do I need to come at them? What is their target priority? And if Phil's smart, he'll know that the Phantom target priority is it's got to be Whisper. So he'll he can use Whisper's bait a little bit. Like yep. he doesn't even need to like decloak here if he doesn't want to. Mm -mm. Um, he could. I mean, it, it's probably not the best because you get the the evade, but he could decloak, get the evade, move, and then cloak again. Um, the reason I th I think Dominic should go this way and then forward is if if Phil isn't careful with soon tier he can just auto kill soon tier yeah he's and then he poof. still has tons of flexibility if whisper comes in to and here are the decloaks this way there it is that way if phil he still has tons of flexibility in a later round to turn back in on whisper and wreck it but this gives you this keeps it doesn't give you any information because right. you don't know whether whether yeah. uh, he's going after soon tier yeah. or whisper because he has the hard turns up yeah or he can come straight exactly he can do all kinds of things here and Again, if he goes straight, that way he's got two viable targets. And the things you always want with these phantoms, uh, I see a lot of quad phantom. Like I've seen a lot of quad phantom play in this tournament. Mm -hmm. I've seen them chase targets they've damaged. It's okay. Like you can spread your fire. Like once you've gotten something good, just get shots because you're mm -hmm. going to do damage. Like get the shots while you have them. Yeah, and, and phantoms. Here's the thing: phantoms aren't going anywhere. So he decloaks forward. Yep. I want to see how aggressive he's going to get. And here are those three forwards that I mentioned, yeah. right? You take a three forward. So how cagey was, was Philip Booth? And Phil, you know, Phil could have done a four forward or a, a, a three bank, right? Because that three bank, even if he he's, could have He's got the five forward, too, if he yeah. wants it. Um, he's got the flexibility to – does – I mean, the I mean on Whisper. On Whisper, um, he could have the flexibility to decloak left, you know, and that and that's really great. So Dominic here, he's just gonna take what Phil gives him, but at the same side time, this is a this is a risk for Dominic because again, he had there is this potential for them just to eliminate this phantom on the board if mm -hmm. if uh, two forward boost focus um, I, that might be range two. It's hard to say. I, it's obviously bad. Yeah. And then whisper comes in like this. 
starts like getting shots on stuff, <laughs> and then you know Suntier might booger out. Suntier yeah. could be bait, which is fine. You want to get you want to bait these phantoms into playing in this area yeah. where they'd have because significantly now, less flexibility. Yeah, Dominic has left the safety of having the backboard At, edge as a protector. You got it. You yeah. got it. It's a it's a really difficult game to play for any player. All right. Casual one forward. I like it. Yeah, one or two forward. I forgot yeah. they had the one forward. I'm, obviously, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, pl I'm a good player. <laughs> but Well, I mean, if he thinking if he would have gone slower. Yeah, but now he, has, he doesn't reached. have the boost now. He can just yeah. take the focus. And remember what I said earlier? You want red line engaging so that he doesn't have all the shots on him? Yeah. This is it. And there's Suntier buggering out. Yep. yep. So that's a focus target lock on that front one. Suntier's like, no thank Suntier's you. Suntier's just going to boost right out of that. Yep. It's fine. This is exactly the engagement Phil wants. It'd be nice to get all the guns on the Phantom, but it's totally fine if Redline just gets a Torp on that front one and only takes maybe three shots back. Mm -hmm. And what Phil has to be very careful of is if Dominic decides to decloak left and then turn back in on Whisper, but he doesn't have the angle. Whisper's behind him Here's now. the Vader trigger. Has to choose what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. And we haven't have the, we don't have them labeled yet. Okay, so that's gonna we're gonna call that one Phantom Two. Yep. And then Phil also has, um, what's really interesting is Phil has one and two uh, locked. He's got the, both those phantoms locked. So I think Dominic just took a damage there on the two. Yeah, he you did. To just to take it. So, yeah, so that's Whisper Shot going to spend that. Yeah, obviously. Three hits. Two okay. evades. Has to spend it. Juke. Juke, yep. I'd spend the focus. Y you stay alive. It's fine. You you're just looking to keep the Phantom alive here to get shots. You don't want to lose it on the opening engagement. Yeah, right, so you spend the focus. Yep, and you keep that evade. Takes one. Yeah. Shields are down on Shields that Shields are down. So Proton now, Torpedo, I mean, I guess w he has uh, the lock was He's here. got two locks. He's got here Oh, he's got the here. second one. Yeah, You're right. So he's dropping that Proton. Yep. Reroll. It's blank, blank. So it's going to be three. Two hits and a crit. Two hits and a crit. And the Phantom can still survive here even on a blank out because it's got that three hull. Blank so out. Crit, yes. crit dependent. Crit dependent. Yep. So he's got to spend spend that evade. And this crit's really big because losing that, that gun on red line on this shot would be very rough. And we'll see what the crit is. Damage, Damage engine. engine. Bad for That's phantoms. Bad but for phantoms, that, but not terrible. No, but that phantom is not long for this world anyway. You want to. Now what you can do with it is. Um, I love this. You know. <laughs> um, now what you can do with it is cloak it up and just use it as a blocker and bait. Try to make them take really bad shots at it. Um, and this is where Redline will see some pain. Uh, so that's two coming in at Get him. Crit. Yep. So Redline will... Shields two up down. So that's three more right there. Red line taking some damage. And this is why it's so hard, right? Because yep. <laughs> down the four hole. That's Be half already. <laughs> because you don't want you don't want to risk Suntier coming in, right? And taking all those shots. But at the same time, had Suntier come in, that Phantom would be dead. And two more damage. Yep. And that's why when you only have when you're outnumber your ships and there's a range three shot, that's why it's tough, right? Yeah. When you only got one on it, no oh, two, two, two with the focus. focus. Yeah. He needs to throw two natty evades here, otherwise he's dead. Yeah. It's so hard for for these these um, squad of legend players. He's, he's gone uh, against four phantoms because if you don't, like I said, if you don't bring everyone in to, to wipe one, you're just toast. Yeah. But then if you don't do it right, then. 
you know, but again, remember what I said? Whisper can solo three of these things, and one yeah. of them's almost dead. And he still has two ships on the board. So Phil is not out of this game by any means. I know it looks like that Dominic has like all the the, the entirety of the advantage. No, yeah, because it, it's it, we got one hole here yeah. only. Yeah, one and damage engine. So that one yeah. is gonna have a really hard time. Um, and it can't cloak. It can't remember. It doesn't have that cloak token. So, so the formation is gonna break here most sure. likely, unless unless the Dominic chooses not to decloak with all his ships. And that I mean obviously valid strategy. But what you want to do here is. Um, I think what you do is I don't know the trajectory of this thing, mm -hmm. but if you I decloak two forward with literally all of them, and then I do a four forward here with this phantom, and evade, and I do four Ks. I do two forward. I do the seven K with them on, a, and I flip them back at Whisper and Spooker, mm. while you have all of your guns. Now, now I got a real question for you, Ryan. Sure. As as the competitor, yeah. If you end up in the quad, if 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 it's a mirror match, sure. Like, what, what are you, what are you gonna do? Like, will you, you have any thoughts on your your approach? I'm, I haven't done it honestly. Like, if I'm, I'm just blessed to be in the finals. Like, this is all gravy for me. If I win, I lose. Whatever. It's it's amazing. If it's quad phantoms for quad phantoms, I'm sorry that it ended up that way for you. <laughs> um, That's fine. I mean, uh, Dominic's it, amazing. But for me, um, if I have the opportunity to take uh, take initiative, I think I'm going to because I want to get all my shots on something before he gets his shots so that I okay. can make him burn those evades. Okay. And that way you can also decloak first to block, mm -hmm. which is huge for these things. Um, but if I even if I don't have advantage, then it's two different types of games you play. Right. If you don't have advantage, you have to rely on arc dodging. So it may not even be about flying in formation. I don't even know, to yeah. be honest. I didn't think about the mirror that much. Mm -hmm. and I'm, I can tell you I might not do the whole castle thing. I might just... Go! I might just joust him. Yeah. Right. I might just joust him and see what happens and see who has better dice because it could just come down to that. And it could come down to like you said, if you take the initiative, and right? You, you get you get a key block. Yeah. And you're able to delete something. Exactly. That could be it. But we'll worry about that next. Yeah. Game. It, I mean, <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm and starting to roll I, into and that. And I want to I want to really impart here that <clears throat> Phil is not out of this in any no, way, shape, or he's form. Not. Whisper is so good against these other phantoms. Like, he still has full Soontir on the board as well. Mm -hmm. So what Whisper's going to try and do now is, like, do what she can to not take shots and and just delete things. So Phil going too straight. And what Phil has the advantage here is if these guys all decide to, to one hard, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they'll have to barrel roll and not have tokens in order to ensure they get the shot. If t Phil does the two bank here and then barrel rolls this way, then he's probably arc dodging almost everything. And this guy's just boogieing out, and these guys are going to cover him as he gets out. Totally fine. You just do damage as you can. He's going to cloak up. He's probably going to stay cloaked for most of the game, and that's why like, not deleting that phantom is so rough. <laughs> All right, Philip trying to trying to get his decisions here. What does that button do? <laughs> that's uh, that's the face camera. Oh, jeez, that's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm glad you asked before you pressed it. <laughs> what is that button? <laughs> I'm not going to press your random button. Uh, I mean, you never. What, what are these? A self destruct button yeah, in case someone's cheating. You're like, oh, we're out. Right, it's it's gone. It. Done. Everything explodes. Yeah. What did they do? Did they do three hearts? I think I see a three there. Oh, one hearts. Okay. Uh oh. Why? Why do I see blinking? That's not good. Dice cam's acting up. You see, now Dominic does that one hard, but he doesn't have a great angle at Whisper unless he decides to barrel roll. And so he's just going to focus up anyway. But Phil, if he does that two bank, he has he's just going to be able to barrel roll out and not take any shots. All right, guys, I'm going to be working on some technical stuff. You got me, baby.
like losing red line is expected. Like you, the Dominic, the quad fans and players got to erase it when you can because if you leave red line, it's going to torp you forever. That kind of offensive firepower. But then, like that was Phil is playing this perfectly aside from not deleting that last phantom, which was fairly you know it, with a whisper shot and a couple other things. It's about I don't know the odds. Obviously, I'm not that great at math, but it, it, I think it's a coin a coin toss. Dion's going to go look to fix that dice cam. Hopefully it's working. I'm trying to see what Whisper did. <coughs> Whisper just moved up and barrel rolled out. Three onto one of those phantoms. Two blanks. That's pretty good. Tough choice to lose shields or to spend the evade. Mm -hmm. I spend the evade. You got to keep them alive. I mean, health is your most valuable asset, right? Well, I mean, it depends. It's a, it's a health now that you don't get later because you're not... It, it, you're not you're losing a focus and evade next turn uh, having that double if you're not cloaking i'm just i i'm i'm in awe i've gotten this far it's pretty awesome do you do you get it sorted out there bud there we go rad good work so there you we know. go the whisper hadn't moved yet right so it out of all the arcs, and like I said, right? Yeah. Like, so sorry, I was a little behind on the stream there to disregard the things I said before. You're good. You're good. Sorry about that. Again, we were having some issues, so I needed to work on some of the connections. So looks like number four on the bottom there took a. Uh, Took three. Mm -hmm. And that was the range one shot, so we're going to go ahead. Oh, crap. I missed it. Yeah, we missed it. I so missed sorry. moving my – no worries. No worries. Um, but like I had said, Whisper ended up coming coming around this way, barrel rolling all out, which is why I thought Dominic probably should have barrel rolled with these guys or just buggered out. He didn't have a good angle to take on Phil. But he still has four phantoms, which is yeah. great, right? Which means, like, if Whisper wants to have to take out a phantom, um, take out the one that's hurt, that's a wasted shot. And then, but he also still has do do do. Yeah, soon to, to fail. Number four would be the one that just got. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry that you're sick, Dion. Fighting. Fighting the good fight. All right. Added the number four icon here. Oh, nope. That's not the right one. Where did it go? You see, I color-coded it for you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I made <laughs> You made my life so easy. <laughs> I appreciate you, Ryan Farmer. Let not a single man, woman, or child deny that Ryan Farmer's a good man. I don't know why I became a Southern gentleman, but it happened. 
There's our number four. All right, while they're in planning, I'm gonna go and mess around with a couple other things. So the, the it's gonna go black, don't freak out. Don't freak out, guys, don't freak out. Oh, I disconnected the wrong one. <laughs> That's not the one I wanted to disconnect. All right, guys, bugger off, whatever. Yes, okay, I get it, get out of here. You know what I meant. So I'm curious to know where, uh, what's the plan with Soontir? You just keep, keep going with him. <laughs> keep going. Just going. You use him as bait because Dominic's got to keep him in mind when he's making all of his maneuvers. You keep him just far enough away that Dominic can't, like, go all in on him. But if Dominic breaks formation in any way, like, yep. he, which he's starting to do, the <coughs> formation's starting to break, Soontir can start, uh, Suntir can start taking advantage of uh, of shots because Suntir can take one one or two shots. Oh yeah, and be fine. Here is that's the one that just got hurt. Still an uphill climb for Dominic. Yep. Phillips such a good player, man. He really he knows what he's doing. Apparently, the, the word that you use, B-U-G-G-E-R, is actually really rude in the U.K. Well, it's not in the U.S. <laughs> Different vernacular. <laughs> it means run, uh, flee like a coward. Oh, sorry. That's, you're right. There we go. So starting to, uh, <coughs> starting to approach uh, soon to but... He's got to be careful. But the good news is he's got a uh, uh, Phil is behind him, right? Mm -hmm. So he has the opportunity now to try and trap Suntier while Phil is getting his whisper turned back around. You guys know what I meant. Stop it. <laughs> Ryan Farmer is not the best at words. It happens. It happens. Maybe Phil's doing both. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. He said, luckily, the kids are in bed. Family show, guys. <laughs> Do what you want, man. <laughs> I'm so I'm so we're sorry, Dottie. Phil's looking to uh, – Phil's in another good position because, again – this guy here, dun 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 dun, or dun 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 dun, like all kinds of things. He, if if Phil can rid that one, mm -hmm. even if he loses soon tier, right? Which not ideal, but if he loses soon tier, and it's just full whisper versus an injured phantom and two more phantoms, mm -hmm. again, still a game. Oh, Absolutely, yeah. this is the end game. Phil probably wants. I mean, not ideal, but like right. it's one of his best case scenarios. Soon tier, he's gonna get all up in that that uh, some arc dodge. He's probably take one shot here, two maybe. Because right, this is whisper. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Honestly, Phil might consider barrel rolling him to the uh, soon tier to the left. And only taking that one shot and then getting his bullseye on him. <laughs> Focus, barrel roll, two focuses. Mm -hmm. Like, take a pot shot at him. And then you're free to just get out of town with Soontier. The other option is the safe move. Oh, he's doing oh, that. He, B. Aggressive. Be, be, be aggressive. aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
did he focus first before he did that or no? No, that was a roll. Yeah, it was just a roll. So he might boost forward. Oh, he might. I think he might still be an arc of this so guy with that barrel roll. Yeah. But I would have. It, it depend. I can't see the, the right, exact the angle. angles. But if I were able to barrel roll that way for like, been able to focus and then barrel roll forward and only take, you know. I think he did auto thrusters backwards there, maybe. I'm not, or maybe I'm not. Or did he not take another action? He may have called it out loud. Yeah. We, we don't have the date. Oh. The the cam. There's a judge by the table. No big deal. It's all good. Or maybe that focus is just the Yeah, ability. that's it's the soon's your bullseye ability. He <laughs> he chose to not be stressed, which is pretty good because that means again he can do that five forward yeah. if he survives, you know, the one shot. Oh, dice camera's acting up. Sorry, guys. Of course, big game, and things are not working. I'm keeping an eye to see uh, stat changes. Oh, there you go. One hit, one of a juked, but has his focus. focus. And that's out of arc. Doing suit tier, doing suit tier things. Good roll, good roll. Check in arc to fire at whisper. Mm, that's cl that's oh, close. That is close. You might be able to get a, a freebie here on whisper. Probably not, but maybe. Or at least preventing whisper from. Oh nope. No, just kidding. Not, not today. Not today. Even making whisper spend that evades big. All right. This is uh, the one dangerous shot here. Into soon tier. Oh, three Ooh, hits. Hit, hit, crit. crit. Not great. Phillips looking for some dice here. All right, it's going to be taking a crit, though. Yeah, it's not great. That's always the danger, right? And we have a console, console fire. fire. Not the worst, not the worst, because soon, soon tier is just looking to get out of town right now. Looking back up. Yeah, well, soon tier has ways to you can flip the crit and and yeah. boost or barrel. At least sure. you have some yeah, options a lot of that way. To do. So uh, if you're not familiar with console fire, it's before you engage, you roll a die, and on a hit, you take a damage. Uh, so my single loss yesterday was against a uh, a wedge Cassian uh, Janor's list of some sort, and uh, I lost by five points. It was very, uh, it was very, very, very close. Uh, that gentleman um, ended up. What was his name? Oh, I'm so bad with names. He made the top eight or top sixteen. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'd have to look, but yeah, he's very talented. Twenty-one minutes and change left in this round. It's still anybody's game. We'll probably see the pace of the game slow down a little bit as the players. And then, again, this is where Phil needs to have some urgency too because he's, yep. he's behind. Not by a ton, but still behind. Yep. And as we wait uh, for this, I do want to give a shout out to Modest Orange Gaming for helping us out. Um, we're going to be showing off their X-Wing organizer that uh, they're having us help promote. It's a really cool piece of tech here, uh, good for traveling X-Wing. Also, thank you to Curl Paw Creators, as all of our rounds have been brought to you by them. And we were able to hook you guys up with a coupon code, Phoenix19, for 15% off your order of $5 or more. It expires on Monday, guys. Don't snooze. I don't want any emails on Tuesday saying, oh, can I get that coupon code? No, you can't. It expires on Monday. And when you look at all these ships, just Dominic has become spread apart now. Yeah. This is where Whisper yeah. Whispers just starts so much, stuff it's apart. It's so much easier to just, now you're dead, and now you're dead. Yeah. And like, the strength of the Quad Phantoms is just the box. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Dion, can you use the code on Monday? Yes, you can move it, use it up until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday. Label out, man. Label out. <laughs> We have 897 people watching from across the world. Oh, my. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> oh boy. us. What is up, everyone? Check out the Gold Squadron podcast. Yeah. Represent Dominic here. Just saying, all right, let's just, let's just get it everywhere. I expect that uh, this Phantom to do a 3K. Yeah. Um, or 4. I can't tell the spacing. Trying to, try to make, make the box that again. That guy there. I'm um, not sure what's happening with this guy. He might have the it's, space to hear and yeah. turn around. Yeah. Yeah. Just going to probably 4K there or one hard up around that rock. Hard to say. Nope. Not the one hard. Totally not. Probably a K turn. All right, zooming forward. Phil, interesting. He's going to take a stress going over that debris. He has advanced sensors. Or collision detector? or No, he has advanced sensors. Oh, he, oh advanced he'll, sensors on Whisper. He'll, he'll barrel roll to either side, oh, whichever way right. is the best, uh, best yeah. option. My bad. <clears throat> Sneaky. There's that 3K. They flip it. Yeah, just trying to get behind him. Advanced sensors whisper is so good. I'm telling you guys right now, if I don't kill that whisper, I'm probably losing the game. <laughs> if, if Phil wins this game, if I don't kill that whisper, I'm toast. And then it, it's all bad. It's just all bad. And it's an untimed final. My advantage. No, it's two two hours. It's a two hour. My it's advantage. It's a two hour. Oh, yeah. Oh God. Please don't, please don't go to time. <laughs> I want to go home. I have to work at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Hey, me too. Oh no, this but, but your, yours is a lot closer than mine. This phantom is gonna get dunked. Yeah, that's it. That's an advanced sensor barrel roll left. This this phantom Scooch should barrel forward. roll. This, this barrel roll should uh, go to the right probably and just eat the debris yeah. next turn. And that one does have a crit on it. it has a crit marker. Did we miss damage a damage engine? No, oh, that's a damage engine one. Got it. Somebody asking, how long have I been teaching orchestra? I've been teaching orchestra for nine years. <clears throat> He's been teaching orchestra for nine Good years. Good barrel roll. Good barrel roll. Good barrel roll. Barrel roll Good by Dominic. Barrel roll. Yeah, super smart. Just essentially guaranteeing he's not getting uh, shot at by that whisper. Unless whisper barrel rolls to the right and back with advanced sensor. Nah. Nah, dog. Doing that. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe he K turns. Oh my God! Maybe he played eight D chess. God and, and mode. If that's nah, just too big. It's fine. That way, uh, Phil can. That'll um, get past. Yeah, Phil can just decloak left next turn, and then one hard and be behind it. Yeah. And it'll be stressed and probably dead. But what it does is it, like, look at the soon to your kill box he's setting up. Really good play by Dominic here because he set up the soon to your kill box, and then if he manages to get kill soon to your in all of this. He's now ready to converge on this Whisper. So the dream for Dominic would be to kill Soontier this turn, um, who's got a waste in action, getting rid of uh, Console Fire. Yep. And then after he kills Soontier, go all in on Whisper. But uh, Give him everything you've got. <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trap. Four forward. Got to ditch that Console Fire and then probably boost out of range of the guy that K turned behind him. Gentlemen, X-Wing. The pairings are obviously incorrect. Please give us Honestly, you probably just boost to the right and bug out. Jerks. <laughs> That's right. You heard me. There might be children watching. Tuba or sousaphone? You look Tuba. like a sousaphone guy. Tuba guy, I guess. <laughs> Tuba. <laughs> 
Don't make the wrong choice, Phil. I played a little tuba in college. Ooh. Little known fact. Whoa. Soon here getting all up in the business. Is he just eating that console fire? Yep. Is that, you know, I'll take a damage I rather guess, than yeah, even three I guess shots. Yeah, he wants that. For, yeah, that's a smart play. He's going to have Predator and a focus. Wow. Dominic teaches band. Look at that. Whoa. You know what my favorite instrument for um, brushing my teeth is? A tuba toothpaste. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm not apologizing for that. It's, it's fine. I love you. Checking for bullseye. That's close. Phil just nudged him a little bit there. It's fine, though. You're headed anyway, I yep. believe. So that'll be Predator and a focus. Yep. Council Fire gets him. Gets him. One left on Soontier. But I don't think he's getting shot at. I think he's fine. Maybe that uh, bullseye was also out. So. Yeah. Is there no focus there? One, two. I don't Where's know. Where's the third die? I don't know. Oh, it fell out of the box. Yeah. All right. Three, three hits. That's a dead phantom. I, probably. Unless he natties. Yeah. Nope. Yep, that's it. Uh, oh, not even if he natties, it's just toast. Yeah. yeah, that was the one with the one. And that's huge. Phillips got to take care of that council fire this turn, though, because that, that council fire put uh, Dominic ahead here. It did, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, range three. Range three shot. This, oh. this could be bad. This could be really bad. Three dice coming in. Two, Two hits. Oh, boy. Soon tier gets four. Got it. Three. Got three evades. He's pointing to a dice that's there. I didn't yeah, know. No, it was there. I saw it. Okay. Yeah. He got the three evades. Wow. Oh, Ooh. man. And that yeah. looks like just to just be out. out. Oh, my gosh. What a crazy turn of events. So you, you can expect Soontier to do it too hard this way. Yeah. Play that console fire, and then Whisper is going to come in and cover for him. Yep. Or Whisper also decides to just, you know what, I'm just going to. Just gonna get out of here. <laughs> I'm out. We're done. Twelve minutes left. It's, it is, crazy tight. It's anyone's game. This is a good game. game. This yeah. is a great game. So if Dominic had killed Suntier there, right? Mm -hmm. I'd say you just, you, you yeah, get, like, nope, yeah, nope. nope I'm you just get out. <laughs> you you run for twelve minutes, but, um, you might. You know what? You still might run for yeah. the entirety of the twelve minutes and make. Make whisper. You got to make make kill. whisper chase Where's you. number four? Number four. You. What do you get out? Yep. Get out. Number four. I'm actually want to double check. Yep. 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 We can get rid of that number two. We don't. Yeah. Need look anymore. at Dom's list. How could you possibly feel bad for him? What a what a list. Who brings something like that? <laughs> Absolutely deplorable. 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 Who brings phantoms? <laughs> Both of these squads are deplorable. <laughs> I got 906 people watching. I mean, I want to see how many continents we have. So shout me out. Do we have anybody who's on the continent? Who, who, anybody in Asia? Asia. Looking for Asia. Where you at? That's a big continent. Do we have anybody from Asia watching? Let me know. My bias is rooting for Phil only because I want our grudge match. Not, nothing against Dominic. Yeah, we got somebody in China watching. Yes, hello, right. China. We got South America, North America. We got Europe. We got, do we have Australia? Australia's kind of late over there. I see somebody asking for the Curl Paul coupon code. That is Phoenix19. Phoenix Oh, we got the we got Australia, <clears throat> New Zealand, beautiful. New Zealand. Do we have anybody in Africa? There are some guys in South Africa who play X-wing. I know that. I wonder what it's like to play X-wing during the rains of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> 
Love it. Can, is that a song can, you can teach your band? Can you teach them Rains of Africa? I could, yeah. Can make that happen. <laughs> Nine minutes left. I'm looking at this round and maybe one more. I don't think they get. I don't think they get more than one up more after this. Yeah. No, no, no. Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah. YouTube. They're, they'll oh know. My. They'll know. They'll know. They'll know. They got bots. They're listening all Man, the time. My, my melody is so good. Yeah. I sing so well. YouTube, <laughs> the YouTube censors. That's the ultimate mark of how well I sing. Can the YouTube <laughs> censors <laughs> catch me? <laughs> Can they get me? Got, what? Oh, Dominic, I don't know what I agree with this. That guy's hurt uh, real bad. He's, he's, going, he's going in strong there. Oh, that guy's hurt real bad, though. But if he kills Soontier, that means that he's still ahead yeah. with his two phantoms. So... It's this is a this is some risky business. Essentially, if you, hmm, ooh, it, oh man, I love it, I love it. I know it's just Africa, whatever. God, this is what the chat's like—just nitpicking every little thing. They knew what I meant. Yeah, it's this fine. Is a nitpicking. You just don't don't make mistakes. Like whatever, I internet. <laughs> Sorry that I'm about to be on the final table. Oh. <laughs> Root against me. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. One bank here mm -hmm. from Whisper. Really interesting. Going to get that Vader off. Oh, wait. Was Whisper stressed? I'm not. Did we miss something on Whisper or... No, so those mm. are soon tier's tokens. It mm. might be. Yep. Yep, and they're soon tier getting out. <laughs> I don't want to play. No, that's fine. That's what exactly what soon tier's got to do. And he did flip the console fire. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Nine hundred and twenty-nine. Can we get to a thousand? What happens if they get to a thousand? Uh, I don't. I. I didn't. Uh, you, uh, you didn't prize out for this. <laughs> I, t I wasn't ready. You weren't ready? I wasn't ready. Oh, jeez. Something. Something cool. Something cool. I'll give you Ryan Farmer's shirt. All right, here we go. Oh, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I need this a really lucky shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one fan, the Phantom only has an evade in front of Whisper. <laughs> Somebody literally, this is not a time delay, so give away the shirt you're wearing. You know what? I'll give away an extra Gold Squadron podcast T-shirt. Beautiful. If we can get to a thousand viewers. All right, here we go. Hit crit. If we get to a thousand viewers. You, I'll add something to my hands <laughs> for the stream. All right, Juke spends a focus. Spends, a, spends the evade. Yeah, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, or spends the whatever. Um, he spends the focus to not it's take damage. Yeah, it's both. Evade. Yeah, take nothing. It's fine. He's not do. He's not taking out Whisper. It's not happening. Oh, it does take a crit, though? A weapons failure? We must have yeah. missed the dice there. Oh, that's half, though, on that that's Phantom. That's huge. That, oh, jeez. Oh, no. That's oh, that's crazy rough. Uh-oh. So two. And then Juke one. Whisper probably spend that focus. Is Phil ahead now? Because he just got half on the other Phantom? Or was that Phantom already at half? Uh, th th this guy right here. It was already at half. Was it? Okay. I guess I guess I'm like lost a little bit in here. That's fine. Just give, give him a second. We'll update health. Oh, blinks. Blinks on blinks on blinks. Oh, uh, does that put Whisper at half yet or no? Well, he's got the evade token. Where is the fourth dice? Yeah, one, two. Oh, uh, I think it was just range three. Oh, it's a range three shot. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it looks like it was just range three. Yeah, number one took a crit. Okay, that's is that what we're missing? Yeah. That's there it is. So yes, he's yeah. ahead hundred. Now he's ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> Are we sure that number four has two, one or two hole? I don't see one damage card there. I could be wrong. I might have minus two from the wrong one. Hold on a second. 
Well, we'll just update from what's what's there. So has and, and guys, if you're if you're watching and, and you're looking for, um, so this is probably going to be the last round. So Dominic either Dominic has to find a way to uh, to kill Soontier. Did Dominic lose a, a phantom? He did, right? Did he? Where is it? One phantom. That's, oh, that's oh, oh, where, where did, when did we lose a phantom? We lost a phantom along the way. We didn't even realize. It was number two. Oh, we, number we knew that. Yeah, we knew that. Okay. We knew that. What, what's happening? We're fine. Panic. What's happening? Um, so. All right, that's updated. I mean, if we're looking at things to teach here, teachable moments, yeah. right, Dion, about X-Wing and learning from the game, regardless Absolutely. of the squads, it's knowing wind conditions. The wind conditions are flopping as it goes here, right? Mm -hmm. So now Dominic's behind, you know? And so for Phil, Phil needs to look at the table right now when he's setting his dials and say, what is the best way, what moves can I do with soon here to ensure the fewest number of shots? Yeah. Now, this guy more than likely could decloak two forward, do a four forward here. This guy could do a decloak this way, but probably with this, th like this. I mean, it's soon tier, right? Soon yeah. tier is, is, is where you have to go. Yeah, boost. Like, that. Whisper did not take any damage, so you just have to ignore Whisper. Like, you just have to. And I think what you have to try and do is um, you got to retain this guy. Number four needs to stay alive. So what I think you do is I think you do a, a three hard this way. Whisper is down on shields. That's the other thing we don't have updated. All right. I think you do a three hard this way and you just cloak up. Yep. Because more than likely, Whisper isn't going to do this and take go all in and turn that way. Um, it, she might, but that would leave her unable to uh, get a lot of good follow-up shots. Yeah, so, so Whisper, if Whisper takes one damage, that's whole half on her. Though. Oh, I didn't see that Whisper wasn't at full. Yeah. My apologies. So then, so Dominic could very well just go all in at Whisper to do one damage. Mm -hmm. But it, think about the points, right? If you get, if you lose a Phantom and get half on Whisper, do you, are you winning? Dominic needs to think about that. Yeah. Because Whisper is how many points? Whisper 78. is worth 78, so, so half of that is 35, 35. 67, 38, 39. So if, what's 88 plus 39? Please help. Help. 88 plus 39 is 100 and... Uh, brain, I'm bad at math. Too. Right. <laughs> what, what, what were those numbers you just asked me to add? Uh, Phone in pocket. 88 plus 39. 127. So if he gets half on Whisper and loses a Phantom and loses half on another Phantom, he still wins the game. There you go. Unless Booth has a bid. Does he have a bid or is he at 200? Uh, no, thing. he has a bid. He has a few points. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong. So then you got to take the bid into account. So, that yeah, you guys are saying 127. Yeah, he's at 193. 193. Points. So, yeah, that's not enough. You have to kill – got to kill Soontier and not lose anything. Yep. That's the win condition, and that's what you have to think of. And so Dominic obviously knows this, so he's just getting out with that Phantom. I, I would cloak with him, to be totally honest. Or I guess like looks like he's barrel rolling, to be certain. And then he's going... It looks like he's probably going to go all in on Soon Tier. There it is. Yep, the one hard. Can Soon Tier get around? Looks like he nudged the Phantom right there. And so what you do is you force Soon Tier to bo uh, burn an action boosting. Um, you think Soon Tier's going to do too hard... That, that, that's barrel, a smart. That's oh. a smart barrel roll, because even though he can arc dodge, he, he can arc dodge no matter what with that too hard. But it brings him closer to this phantom, mm -hmm. and this is the phantom you got to try and get the kill shot with. That's where all the chips are at. Hmm. Hmm. Because but again, the is going to be able to get focus evade. It's this true. Turn. It's tough. It, it's not great. I don't know if I would have necessarily barrel rolled there. Um, yeah, I think the barrel roll would have blocked him. I don't think so. No? I, I, I can't tell from this angle. So Whisper's getting that. Barrel roll off. That Sigma that he's taking a shot at, I think, is still full, though. So if you're Dominic, as long as it doesn't hit you to half, you just eat it. Yep. 50 seconds left. This is going to be This is gonna be it. This is going to be it. We'll see if <coughs> Dominic can somehow close on Soon Tier. 40 seconds left. So there's that two, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would have necessarily barrel rolled, but you are forcing Soontier to barrel roll here. Yep. Unless Soontier thinks he can kill that guy. You can go barrel roll, boost. That, I mean, that's the that's the really gutsy thing. If he thinks he could just kill that phantom, yep. By he takes a focus here, but I, I think he's still barrel roll on focus. You barrel roll, auto thrusters focus. Or focus, auto thrusters, barrel roll.
So Booth will try Invader. Focus. Give me that barrel roll, Booth. That's right. I don't know if he'll have the bullseye. But he'll be out nope. of a shot. So that's a good move by Dominic because now it's a range two shot. So mm -hmm. that was a, actually looks like it was a good barrel roll. So it's a range two instead of a range three. One eyeball. So here we go. And this is it. Like, this is going to be it. Uh, three with dice with a focus. Your expect expected evades are 1.8. Um, so Whisper is going to try and ting some one of those tokens off of uh, number three that we see. Or maybe not, just saving it for Vader. Or say, oh, he needed the mod. Yeah. So, oh, uh, it's only two. You take it's both shields. Oh, no. So, 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 uh, soon tier's firing, too. Yeah. Tough choice. Man. Um, what I do is um, I take the shields. I take both shields and keep both tokens because then you're forcing um, – you're forcing students here to have to spend a focus in order to, to do to do that damage to try and get you to half. Mm -hmm. But I could eight. be wrong. The math could be wrong. I'd have to uh, think about that a little more. See who he puts the damage on. So he takes. Okay, on number four. Has one hole left. Oh, that's number four. That's number four. We had that number in the wrong spot. Oh, Sorry, guys. Oh, no. That's I was huge. wrong the whole time. That's huge. Jeez, Dion, look it's, at you. I'm so, these My commentating is bungled because of our stupidity. <laughs> that might be it. Hit crit. Hit crit. Hit hit crit. Uh, the, uh, the extra evade dice went wild. Spends a focus. focus. Lives. Uh, maybe. Lives. The boy who lived. Are we, are we sure that was only two hits? Oh, it was only two hits. Yeah. Lives. All right, now he's got. he needs natties. He, it's all dice. N this is it. This is the shot. Yeah, that's it. That's the game. Here we go. Hit crit. Hit crit. Uh oh. Got Phil it. Phil two evades. Phil Booth. It looks like Phil's going to take game. it. Wow. 100 to 88. Booth, I'm, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do it twice in a row? <laughs> Gonna put, gonna stress the man out. Unless we did the points wrong <clears throat> and Phil lost, and then I'll feel like a big dummy. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, did we do the points wrong, though? <laughs> no, right? <laughs> they're, they're, they're having discussions. Soon tears at half. He's not at half, right? I, Whisper's not at half? I, and he's, yeah. yeah. It's think, 100 to 88, if that helps. We think. We're uh, pretty sure. We think. You, you, oh, you're, I'm coming for you. I gotta go. I'm coming for you, uh, Phil Booth. Uh, all right, are you, love you guys. Are you planning on taking a break? Or are you gonna go straight into it? Uh, I think. I mean, that it depends on him. Have right? a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably think we're gonna have a little bit of a break. But all right, guys. No mirror. No Five thirty-six. No pressure. But I'd like to make my plane. <laughs> oh no. I'd like to make my airplane. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but it, I, it's okay. The f Fort Farmer will not be penetrated. Uh, oh no, that's fine. That's fine. All right, we'll go. We'll go chat. So uh, giveaways this round are usually uh, for the top four. Let's go here. We're gonna keep this one short. Oh, I got a, a telestrate on my face. Our giveaways are brought to you by Phoenix. By Phoenix, excuse me. By District Foundry. Use coupon code Phoenix2019 for 15% off of $15. Let me go ahead and pull up our giveaways here. I'm gonna try to do this quickly because I'm gonna have to talk about the uh, the final here. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. Give me a second, everybody. I see the spam. So for this round, we are giving away the a GSP T-shirt. Okay, Gold Squadron T-shirt. That's going to be the uh, the patron exclusive. <clears throat> we have limited size. We have some extra larges and larges. Um, we also got some cards. We're going to do this real quick. Oh, those those are the ones I gave away already. So we got a couple porgs. Let's do this fast. Pork, 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 pork. Gotta keep some porks for the final. There it is. Huh? Well, hold on. Alrighty, everybody. 
So we're going to quickly give away these cards. Let's make this happen. Uh, these giveaways, looking at our division. Let's see, how are we doing? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a four to one looking at Twitch. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to do three of these are for Twitch, once for YouTube. Hey, Ken, come on over here real quick. Pick a card. Pick, just pick one. Boom. All right, that's the YouTube card. YouTube. All right, YouTube, Porg, and uh, Midnight Porg style. I said Porg, Po. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull that up here. Boom, boom. <clears throat> do it. All you have to do to be eligible for the giveaways is to be in the chat. Type something. Type anything in the chat. I, that's right. I mean, I prefer gumboats. Um, I know we don't quite have the gumboats uh, emoji in YouTube yet. That's on my list of things to do, guys. So those of you who are YouTubers, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get you access to that gumboat. All right, here we go. Three. Where's my where's my where's my window? All right, you you. you here you go. Toss, toss this on. Toss this on. For those of you who don't know, this is Ken Cho. He is the president and owner of Presidente. Presidente of District Foundry. All right, here we go. Let's open up the giveaways here for YouTube. We're doing YouTube now? Yeah, we're going to do the YouTube one. I am a Twitch guy. You're a Twitch guy? I am a Twitch guy. Uh, well, here we go. Three, two, one. Take it. The winner is... Nabi Matsuo. Not Nabi Matsuo. There you go. We're gonna get you that. It's Poe. Bam. All right. We're gonna flip on over to Twitch here. My peoples. <laughs> My people. All right. There we go. So again, very easy to uh, to participate. All you gotta do is be in chat, and uh, you still got a couple couple uh, couple minutes here uh, before the Patreon giveaway, where we're giving away a GSP shirt. Our last giveaway for the last round is we have our uh, our Twitch templates, we have our patron templates, and we have that awesome district founder. Can, can, can you grab? Can you grab it? This tray is fantastic. I mean, designed by the Ken Cho. Absolutely fantastic. I love this thing. You have all the options that you need. Um, I love how strong, I love how strong the magnets are. I mean, you have options being, you can stack it on any, uh, any way you want. It's absolutely fantastic. Magnets are super strong. So, uh, absolutely love that. So let's go ahead and give this away. First one. Uh, let's go ahead and do. Are they all different? They're, They're all different. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Pork, Luke Pork Walker goes to. Go ahead, read it. The Hairy Demon. The Hairy Demon. Do it. <laughs> I'm a little peeved because I got paired up with Thweep Porg, and then they repaired. Ah, uh, so, Thweep. Yeah. <laughs> thweep the Porg. Yeah, I missed my chance to stomp. <laughs> stomp the Thweep. <laughs> Next one, Porg Solo slash Porg Affet. Oh, that's dope. That one's dope. I love, I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, I'm going to talk to Phil here real quick. Congratulations, SGB74. How much of a break are you guys taking? Not much. Not much? Okay. Nice game, man. I appreciate it. I'll be done in like five minutes. All right, SVG, let's go. Or SGV74. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There you go. And my personal favorite of all the Porgs, the exclusive Gold Squadron Porg. Again, these Porgs are uh, are made by the uh, the Knights of the Porg Republic. This is their name, and uh, they actually have their own Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Porg Republic. So this one's unique. Yeah, this is a, this gets you into the one percenter club. Co correct. Nice. <laughs> All righty, here we go. Uh, Ken, do the honors. Go ahead. What do, what do I click? You just gotta click. Just roll, roll it. it. Roll it. All right, roll it. This is for Twitch. This, this is Twitch for guys? Twitch. All right, my boys. Buck Owen 74. There you go. So he is a subscriber and he's been following the channel since 2017. Good on you, son. Thank you so much. All righty. We're going to go ahead and do the GSP t shirt. Do we have one laying around here? I don't they, have they one. Know what it looks like. it's, it's actually in my, uh, in, my, in my bag. There's, 
Hold on. I'll, I'll let you guys sh I'll show one off. I could reach in here. There's Please. a lot of luggage. There's a lot of luggage around Stacked here. Stacked up around here. Guys getting like, ready to leave for the week. It's kind of an awkward shot, I know. Sorry, guys. There's one around here. Sorry. It's Gold Squadron Who Podcast t-shirt. want to see Alan's belly? I know. I mean, come on. Ooh. I know you guys want to see it. You know what? You, you can, guys know what it You can check like. it come out on, on GoldSquadronPodcast.com because we have them for sale, too. All righty. So here we go. Uh, this is a Patreon exclusive. I need I need the other laptop for this one. And if you're not a Patreon, you should do it. This is basically <laughs> our college football on the weekends. I'm a big proponent of Gold Squadron because I can sit home and watch X-Wing on TV in this <laughs> day and age. How do you do that? So Thank I feel it's worth the money. Thank you so much, Ken. All righty. So we're going to pull this open. Can you play Fortnite on this? <laughs> I mean, I could. But I don't want to. <laughs> I would rather I'd, ra I'd rather be playing X-Wing or streaming X-Wing. I'm old. I actually don't really know what Fortnite actually <laughs> is. I've never I've never played myself. <laughs> All right. Oops, no, wrong button. We're going to download the list of names. And this is as latest the list as it gets. These are people who have signed up. There it is. There it is. Nice. All right, so this is a new patron raffle. Let's go ahead and sort, filter by, what's the word, the patron sins, and sort, and we need descending. Oh, this is really exciting for you guys to see me sort spreadsheets here. All right, thank you to everybody who has become a patron. You guys are awesome. Let's do it. Random. All right, Ken, what's the number? Coming up, coming up, coming up. up. Results. Any Give me minute. the results. The Wi Fi is not great here. No, it's not. Random.org says it takes a random atmosphere. Number 19. 19. With a bullet. Go ahead, read it. Thomas Rockwell. Thomas Rockwell, congratulations. New you got yourself a GSP t-shirt. Thank you for your support. So we're going to go ahead and put that in here. Mark it. Thomas Rockwell. Is Ma the next match the finals? Next match is the final. It is a two-hour final. I don't know if that's going to go that long, to be completely honest. It's the same matchup, but now Ryan Farmer's behind the wheel. You need the honorable joust. Honorable for joust. For your sake. <laughs> for, I mean, I'd, I'd appreciate it, to be completely honest. But we're going to be giving away some more stuff. We're going to be giving away that District Foundry tray. Thank you to Kencho and District Foundry. Uh, and Mrs. District Foundry. I know she's not here. She's part of the club, though. As you know, the wives are very understanding and probably 50% oh, yeah. of <laughs> both our outfits. I know with Andrew, it's the same way. Absolutely. So. Uh, and use that code Phoenix2019. Get yourself one of those trays. And I was talking to Ken. He'll hook up whatever you want on that front cover. So we had the, the GSP logo on that one for our giveaway. But you can get whatever you want, essentially. Right. So my if phone has been blowing up all weekend. So basically, <laughs> each of the layers can be different colors. Oh, and my God. the logo is two-tone now. It used to be single color. Now it's two-tone. So um, basically, if you order, just put in the notes what you would like, and I will make it happen. So it's fully customizable, pretty yeah. much. Co color. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's so awesome. So go ahead, get yours, and uh, shout out also to Modest Orange Gaming for the, the, the larger uh, travel box. Yep. Thank you for your support there Evan's as well. Evan's a really nice guy. I met I yeah, was Evan, the table next to him. So, Evan's yeah. awesome. So look up uh, Modest Orange Gaming on there. We were able to negotiate uh, a price uh, that was a little more doable. The original price was a little bit higher. I was like, let's can we get that down for our people? And uh, so kind of getting it out there at a lower price. So go ahead, check that out, Modest Orange Gaming. I'll get you guys the links here in a minute, and we'll have our final soon. We'll be back. We'll be back.